Ethan M. and Raziel, the Matt Kinsey way using the techniques of the world's top strategic consultants to help you and your business. Embark on a revealing journey as we explore the insightful summary of The McKinsey Way by Ethan M. Raziel. Delve into the highly effective problem-solving techniques employed by the elite consulting firm, McKinsey & Company, as they tackle an array of business challenges worldwide. Throughout this summary, you will uncover the significance of embracing facts, the Mies rule that promotes clear expression, and the art of crafting initial hypotheses as a roadmap to solving problems. Moreover, the book emphasizes the role of factual analysis, the 80-20 rule, and the importance of focusing on key drivers to ensure efficiency. Problem-Solving Techniques by McKinsey & Company McKinsey & Company is a well-known corporate consulting firm that offers expert problem-solving solutions to companies worldwide. This book snippet discusses the firm's success and proven guidelines that include embracing facts, gathering information, and presenting findings to clients. McKinsey's entry-level consultants are trained to build effective cases by using a small number of problem-solving techniques, which allows them to answer a broad range of questions. The company also promotes clear expression through its Mies rule, which demands that every piece of communication is mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. McKinsey's approach emphasizes honesty, recognizing when you don't know the answer, instead of bluffing, which could be more costly. Problem Solving Like a McKinsey Consultant Learn key lessons from McKinsey consultants on how to approach and solve business problems, including defining an initial hypothesis, focusing on key drivers, avoiding analyzing too much, and seizing small victories. McKinsey consultants have a distinctive approach to problem solving. They define an initial hypothesis, which is an educated guess that lays out a map for solving the problem, before researching the problem. Although this may sound counterintuitive, it avoids the problem of making the facts fit a predetermined conclusion. The initial hypothesis isn't the final answer, but a possible solution to test and refine during research. Meanwhile, it is crucial not to let our biases influence the solution we end up with. McKinsey consultants also emphasize the need to question and redefine the problem before devising a solution. Many problems are presented as the core issue, but this may not be the real problem. Thus, McKinsey consultants encourage us to do our homework and analyze the facts before reaching a recommendation. For example, McKinsey consultants once spent several weeks working on a manufacturing company's proposed expansion before realizing that expansion wasn't the right answer for the company. Instead, the division in question needed to be closed or sold. Another key lesson is to focus on the key drivers, the most important factors that affect a business problem. This helps us to narrow in on the meat of the problem and work more efficiently. Moreover, we must keep our solutions realistic, considering our resources and any internal politics that may pose a roadblock to solutions. We must also be willing to redefine the problem if it's too intractable to solve. McKinsey consultants avoid analyzing too much. Once they collect enough information to support a hypothesis, they stop. This helps them to work more efficiently, as they concentrate on the most important factors that affect the problem. Solutions must be boiled down to a 30-second sound bite, a tactic known as the elevator test. If we can thoroughly explain a product or solution in a 30-second elevator ride, then we understand it clearly enough to sell it to our audience. McKinsey consultants believe in seizing small victories. If, on the way to a larger solution, we find the chance to make a simple recommendation or small improvement, we should do it. Such easy targets help build morale and appease clients who might otherwise grow impatient. We should keep track of the things we learn during the problem-solving process by making a chart every day, which helps clarify our thinking and record our progress. In conclusion, problem-solving like a McKinsey consultant involves defining an initial hypothesis, focusing on key drivers, avoiding analyzing too much, and seizing small victories. We must remember to question and redefine the problem before devising a solution and keep our solutions realistic. By doing so, we can work more efficiently and instill teamwork, 
acknowledging that we can't do everything ourselves. McKinsey's Approach to Client Acquisition McKinsey, a consulting firm, follows a unique approach of not selling services but making itself available and known to potential clients through marketing. The company enhances its name recognition by encouraging its partners to participate in charities, cultural organizations, and speak at industry conventions. Consultants also write for trade publications, attend trade shows, and socialize with potential clients. Furthermore, they ensure to divide problems into manageable sizes and avoid making promises they cannot keep. By following this approach, McKinsey steadily gains new clients while maintaining existing ones. The McKinsey Approach Consultants at McKinsey work in teams to gather and analyze data, with team building activities kept to a minimum. Effective team leadership involves consistent decision making, valuing team members' contributions, and treating them with respect. To foster team spirit, leaders should take time to learn about their team members' interests and hobbies. The first rule of success To be successful in a hierarchy, it is vital to make your boss look good. This means doing your job well and keeping your boss informed without overwhelming them. Seeing yourself as equal to your boss can be a risky move, but it can also work in a meritocratic organization. One consultant at McKinsey had success with this tactic by criticizing his boss's book draft. However, it is important to note that asserting equality can be riskier in a more hierarchical company. The key takeaway is to prioritize pleasing your boss and doing your job well in order to climb the ladder of success. Mastering Efficient Research as a Consultant Efficient research is fundamental for a consultant when working with a company. Consultants can find previously done work through annual reports, magazine articles, and scholarly papers. With computer research, consultants aim to find outliers, high and low sales numbers, to investigate further. These practices are key to a consultant's success in understanding a company. Mastering the Art of Interviewing Interviews are critical when collecting information. It's crucial to prepare an interview guide with a checklist of information you'd like to glean and your questions before conducting the interview. Start with simple, general questions moving to specific and sensitive ones, building rapport along the way. Staying silent encourages people to talk, and it's best to ask open-ended questions and redirect the conversation if need be. It's important to take notes and be attentive, nodding to indicate listening and offering verbal encouragement. If necessary, take an interview partner to facilitate the session. Never be hostile or treat the interview as an interrogation. Finally, remember to thank the subject for the interview in a written note to help smooth the path for future interviews. Creating a winning presentation Consultants and managers can create clear and logical presentations by avoiding perfectionism, informing key players beforehand, and using simple charts instead of complex ones. A consultant's presentation marks the culmination of months of hard work. Therefore, perfectionism can add unnecessary stress. To prevent counterproductive objections during a presentation, tell the key players in advance what the presentation will say. This can defuse loud protests from the audience. Simplicity is vital in creating attractive and easy-to-understand charts. The excessive use of complex graphics can make presentations confusing and overwhelming. As we wrap up our summary of The McKinsey Way, it is essential to recall the key takeaways that you can apply to make impactful decisions and improve problem-solving skills. Facts are indispensable tools in crafting effective arguments, while McKinsey's Mies rule provides a blueprint for clear communication. The initial hypothesis is a strategic starting point in solving problems while staying critical of its accuracy. Additionally, focusing on key drivers anchors problem-solving on the most significant factors, leading to efficient solutions. Remember, effective communication and teamwork are vital, and being honest about your knowledge is instrumental in maintaining credibility. With these learnings, you can tackle both professional and personal challenges with newfound confidence and dexterity.